Hi, I'm Michelle Wilson, and this is where I share God's glory through our stories. Just recently, I began to wrestle with the question as to whether or not I should continue to monetize these videos, as I have been for about the past year. I was convicted to look to scripture to find answers, and I wanted to share with you guys what I found and what I decided to do. So in my research, I was asking myself the question, how did ministers in the Bible earn a living? Or in some cases, more specifically, how did God instruct them to earn a living? And starting in the Old Testament, in Numbers 18 and Deuteronomy 18, I wanted to look more into the Levite tribe who were in charge of overseeing the worship practices of the nation of Israel. And as I read, I saw that God instructed them to make their living by taking certain portions of the tithes and the offerings that were given by the other Israelites. So that's the Levites. And then fast forward to Jesus and his disciples. I was looking at Luke 9, Matthew 10, and there were some individuals that were named who would provide for Jesus's ministry through some of their means. And then when Jesus was sending out the disciples, he instructed them to live upon the good graces of the people that they were sharing the message with. So they'd go from town to town sharing the message and people who heard the message and wanted to support the disciples would give food and lodging. And so that's Jesus and the disciples. Fast forward some more to Paul. In Acts 18, Philippians 4, I'm looking through those, and many of us know that Paul had his own personal profession as a tent maker, so he got some income from that. And then he also was supported by some of the churches, like the church at Philippi. And the bottom line here that I was seeing is support came from either an alternative profession or as free will, like voluntary gifts that came from the people being ministered to. Nowhere did I see any example of being paid by a non-interested third party that could potentially distract from the message. Now, some of you might be wondering, what am I talking about? <laughs> so to monetize a YouTube video, it means you allow YouTube to put ads either in the beginning, the middle, or the end of the video. I never liked having ads in the middle of the video, obviously, that was quite distracting, but I would do in the beginning or at the end or both. But then I thought about it. What would it have looked like for Jesus to have monetized his ministry in that same fashion? And I imagined, I kind of visualized, it would be something like Jesus allowing a random person to open and close, say, his Sermon on the Mount with some non-related sales pitch that was solely beneficial because it gave Jesus financial gain. When I thought about it that way, to me, that seemed really twisted. It seemed to pervert the purity of the gospel message. And when I came to that conclusion, I decided, okay, I'm gonna do away with the monetization of all of the videos on this channel from here on out. All of the videos, including Nabil's vlogs, because I care about you. I care about what you see and hear on this channel. And I want to only be perpetuating messages that are ones that God has given me to share. So what that means for this ministry moving forward for support opportunities, I've got Patreon open that's been open for the past few years. And then there is a new opportunity I am so excited to tell you guys about. Michelle Inspires is now officially a part of a 501c3. So tax deductible donations can be given for this ministry. And if you are interested in finding out more information about that, there's a link below. So in closing, I've shared my research, I've shared my conclusion, and I would like to open up the floor to you. What do you think about monetizing ministry videos or even ministry financial support in general? The comment section is going to be open for the next two weeks, and I would love to hear from you. 
So thank you so much for joining me today. If this video was meaningful to you, take a moment to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And as I mentioned, if you feel in your heart you'd like to support what I'm doing here, what I'm doing on my Instagram to encourage and inspire, there are two methods to do that. There's my Patreon, which has a link here on the screen, and then there is a tax-deductible donation opportunity, and you can find out more about that in the link in the description section below. And I'll see you again soon.